All right, got some time today. Might as well show you my opinion on daily driving a Mustang with full BMR suspension. Give a little quick walk around. You got the Nito 555 G2s up front with the NTO 5Rs in the back. Corsa with the Chick-fil-A. It is a six-speed car. That's my little makeshift camera mount right there. And a little go-go juice. That's not for me though. But yeah, let's get it. All right, let's get to it. Got some Chick-fil-A, you know what I'm saying? Got some nitrous, that's not mine though, it's my friends, I gotta give it back. I've, been, I've had it for like two weeks. But what better way to explain my opinion on driving with full BMR other than, you know, driving it home from a haircut. 35 minutes there, 35 minutes back, so. I got some time, might as well make a video out of it. Um, I really have nothing bad to say. I'm not gonna say the 10 things I like, the 10 things I don't like. I'm not, I don't care for none of, that, none of that stuff. But to make it quick and to not talk your ear off for like 52 minutes. Um, let these cars go. It's fine. The only thing I have to say about it is that it is uh, noisy at times. And really, the only noise that I'm getting from, or that I'm getting it from, is the uh, tow rod ends. But, what I found out, because when I... Uh... Alright, there we go. I actually had the car up on a lime rack, because I, I, I kept hearing like a, a thud or a, or a clunk. Like a clunk, 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 especially going over like rough roads at low speeds, like coming into your apartment complex or, or into your community or driving wherever you drive. Um, I did get that noise, and what I found out when I put it on the alignment rag, lifted it up, I grabbed the sway bar, and I would like jounce the car up and down. And if you put your hand over the, the inner uh, joint for the tow rod, it's the metal moving is just making a clunk. I mean, everything's tight, but what I found out is white lithium grease just a little spray on there give it a day or so to drive around to let all the, the lube do its uh, stuff and it's fine and I mean right now I have no noise at all I mean that's really the only thing I, I can say you can even look at other people and see what they complain about on Facebook but really most people that are complaining on Facebook or a bunch of forums are like a lot of non turn wrenching something something you know what I'm saying I'm a turn wrenching kind of person. So to me, it's really no big deal. I mean, I work in my car all the time, coming in here, give it a little spray spray and it's fine. The, the lockout, I have no issue with it. The CBR005 or something like that. Amazing, no issues with that. It is uh, partnered with like a Steeda subframe insert that is, work, is designed to work with the subframe lockout. Vertical links, oh God. Oh, so bumpy. Uh, everything else is fine. Um, the vertical links I have no issue with. The camber links are super badass. The adjustable ones that I have, no, nothing from them. There, There is a little Zerk fitting on the bottom of them on the inside to where you gotta uh, grease them up. Um, that's about it. Everything's super simple. Like I said, just a, a little bit of white lithium grease on it. I know some people may not like it, especially if you're a non-turn wrenching blank blank. Um, for me to deal with and BMR actually has given me support that's kind of the reason why I kind of went full BMR with everything kind of the reason why I went full BMR is because I did have a non BMR product on there that did snap and did break that uh, does not make you feel good about certain products or certain brands or just you know aftermarket parts in general when you do have something that breaks and it's a big safety issue they were aware of it they gave me the whole spill down of who's doing what not really like who and names in particular but um that they were very aware of this certain product that it was happening. They gave me the rundown. They they told me, you know, there's a reason why they haven't released that due to safety. There's a reason why they delay stuff because they want to put or delay products coming out because you know everyone wants to be the first one out with something. And 
I believe it was I forgot who the who the Mustang guy that was that I was talking to before. I think it's the Kelly or something like that.